Hey guys, what is going on? I got another tutorial here for you guys, and this one is on the roto brush. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically like using the pen tool when you rotoscope, but it's about a thousand times easier and a thousand times faster. Now, um, if you don't know what rotoscoping is with the pen tool, I'll leave an article down below in the description explaining what it is. So in this video, I'm going to try and isolate my foreground against my background so that I can change the color balance of the sky and the trees without affecting the foreground, which is me right there. So, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to want to do first is duplicate your footage, and then I'm just going to go ahead and rename this Roto Layer. Roto Layer. Okay. So now, make sure that this is on full, so because that's where the Roto Brush tool works best. And go ahead and double-click your Roto Layer, because we're going to have to work in the Layer window, not the Composition window. So next, what you're going to do, once your layer is selected, you're going to go ahead and go up to the top up here to the Roto Brush tool, which is right here, and just click on it. And now we're ready to get started. Now, how this works is the green is when you tell it which parts of your footage you want to isolate. And then if you hold down on a Mac, it's option, um, the option uh, key. The red is when you tell it what you don't want it to keep. So let's go ahead and get started. And you can uh, resize your cursor. You can resize the selection amount right there by holding down Command, clicking, and then dragging. So you can see it got a little bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and start roughly, very roughly, selecting me. So you can see it already kind of got it. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little smaller. Hold down Option and delete all these branches back here. And you can see it already worked pretty well. And for this uh, demonstration, since I'm only editing color, it's not like extremely noticeable. I'm not going to make this too accurate. I'm just going to make it pretty rough because that's all it needs to be. And make sure you're on your first frame here. And you can see these little markers right here, these little arrows. If you want the Roto Brush tool to affect your video all the way throughout the whole thing, um, then you're going to want to go down here and stretch this um, past the footage length. Because these arrows show how much it's going to affect it. So now that you've stretched it across your whole video, you are now ready to keep working. So if you click Spacebar, it'll automatically start um, predicting what it thinks the next frame will be. Or you can still go frame by frame like this by on a Mac, Command, and then right arrow. I'm going to ignore the bow and arrow right here, it's not that important. So um, yeah, as you can see we have to fix some stuff here, because you can see on my right arm it starts to go in front of it, and there we go, just very quickly going through here, oh, okay, you can see that's better, and if we go back this frame here now this process can still take a long time while you're refining everything but think about having to do this with a pen tool that would take forever so it's a lot better so now we're just going to go ahead and go through here make sure everything works smoothly okay oh shoot so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward to when I've completed this whole video with um, going through this process. So I'll see you guys there in about, for you, two seconds. So yeah. Okay, and you can see that we have very roughly rotoscoped out our well, me here. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and go down here where it says freeze. And this is basically if you want to finalize your selection and you just want it to keep it the way it is so you can't mess with it. Now, only do this if you're sure that you're done rotoscoping. So, um, yeah, just let that process finish. And then uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and go back to the composition window. Up here, you can see uh, it is frozen. So let's go up here. And now um, we have our two layers here. So now we can start messing with it. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and change the color balance of this. Okay. And just to show you really quickly how this works, you can see that my guy is isolated. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm just going to add some text here maybe. Hello there. And just put it in between the two layers. And boom. You can see. Oh, shoot. Yeah, make sure you don't move the roto layer. <laughs> you can see that behind him well somewhat I did it really quickly but yeah you can see that it works pretty pretty well 
So you can see that it works pretty well, and it's pretty cool too. You can see how this could be useful if you're trying to put maybe an explosion behind somebody or section off a little part of your footage to make it a little less saturated if it's standing out too much. So yeah guys, um, I hope this helped. Leave requests for more tutorials in the comment section down below. And um, depending on what they are, I probably will do all of them. Maybe not right away, but I will get to them. So yeah guys, uh, thumbs up, subscribe. See ya.